If you want to schedule a block of time and allow students to book appointments with you for office hours or extra help or something like that, using the appointment slots feature in Google Calendar can make that a lot easier. So click on the date where you want to schedule the appointments and then click on the appointment slots option. And then the first thing that you want to be really careful about is that your start and end dates are right. They're automatically going to give you a 24 hour window here. And if you want the appointments to just be a block of time, let's say during the uh, lunch block on Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that, you're going to want to be sure that you set this end date to the same date as the start date. And then you're going to go ahead and set your time. I'm going to set a two hour block from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And then I'm going to set the duration of my meetings to 30 minutes. Now I'm actually going to have 25 minute meetings and a five minute break between each of them. But if I want to create one block of time and only create one calendar event, I need to make the meeting a little bit longer and simply end it earlier. There's no way to say create 25 minute meetings and leave me five minutes in between them. You can't do that when you create one block. You would have to create individual appointment slots that were 25 minutes each if you wanted to accomplish that. So I'm going to go ahead and click the more options here just so you can see that this is where you would set up a repeating event. So again, if you wanted to have uh, extra help during the lunch block on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, you could set up one event for Tuesdays and one event for Thursdays. This is also, by the way, where I can add a guest if I have a co-teacher who's going to join me for an extra help session, or if I want to provide students a link to anything, a syllabus, uh, extra help pages, my website, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and title this event Office Hours, and then save it. And over here, I set up 25-minute meetings, individual 25-minute meetings, just so you could see what that looks like. Just know that it is additional work to set them up individually. So anytime you click on a set of appointment slots in your calendar, you're going to see this link. Go to appointment page for this calendar. And that's your page. It's your calendar. So you can either copy this URL to share it with other people or in this calendar event, you can right click or two finger tap and say copy link address. And then you can post that link in Google Classroom or share it directly with students in an email. Um, and students can go to that page and book appointments with you. So this is a student view. This is what they see. This is the block of 30 minute appointments I created in one calendar event. These are the individual extra help sessions that I created as separate calendar events. So I'm gonna go ahead and book um, an office hour time. And you'll notice that when a student clicks on a time slot, it automatically titles it whatever you've titled the original event. It adds their name and they can go ahead and click save. And as soon as they've, as as they've saved it, the uh, time slot they saved is no longer available on the teacher's calendar. It's added to the student's ca uh, calendar. And then I'm just going to come back here to the teacher view. Um, it is also added, right, here's my original block of appointments, but here is my individual appointment with that student. And it now has their name in the title, and they're invited to the meeting. Now, if you want these meetings to be virtual instead of in person, at this point, you can go ahead and click the Edit button and add a Google Meet link, save it, and it will automatically uh, update the student's calendar event as well.